So we're gonna set the camera down and we're gonna eat this sandwich for you real quick. Give you the scoop. And to both sandwiches, I asked them to put on extra uh, brown sugar bacon. And uh, they might've given me the wrong version the second time that I ordered it. But they did not skimp on the uh, extra brown sugar bacon, so I appreciate that. And I'm not complaining because Arby's, your uh, brown sugar bacon sandwiches are delicious. And like I said, this is a uh, BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato situation. And it comes with two versions, just your regular lettuce, tomatoes, and bacon like this one. Or like the one I had earlier, which is the roast beef and cheese version. But I digress. Does that look delicious or what? Mmm. The one I had earlier was pretty good. And when I fucked up on the review, I thought, you know what, we'll just reorder the sandwich. And uh, just eat some of the leftover curly fries and call it a review, I guess. I'm not very hungry because I already had one earlier. But we'll get a couple bites in on camera for you. Show you a close-up of the goods. It's the King's Hawaiian Arby's Brown Sugar Bacon Sandwich. I've now officially tried both versions. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. No, oh, smells like Asperger's, dude. Good grief. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kind of wish I hadn't messed up the review I did earlier, but that's whatever. i close that up, stick it in the fridge for later, because I, like I said, I already had one earlier, so I'm pretty full. These are the fries from the last order that I messed up on the review. So there you go. Mm. So my YouTube trolls are trying to ruin my cameo by trying to trick me into shouting out disgusting people. Here's the reality of it. I do not know the name of every sicko out there, because quite frankly, I don't care. I hate sickos, and I would never pay somebody money to do that crap just to fuck with them, you know? <laughs> Greetings, fellow Cameo users. It's the legendary King Cobra JFS. I fucking hate sickos. I hate murderers, psychos, all that nasty crap, all the ickiness in our world. And I do not know the name of all these people who do these horrible things. And my uh, YouTube trolls will use that against me, knowing I have autism and I hate sickos and shit like that. And they will trick me into saying or doing some fucked up shit because they're assholes. They did it to me before on my other shout out platforms that I use to do this kind of thing but anyways I just want to say to all my true fans thank you for all the support and if you want a shout out from King Cobra JFS I will cast a spell do what I can also fuck sickos and to my YouTube trolls you know what the fuck you're doing it's like oh Cobra doesn't know the name of every sicko out there so let's pay him money to shout out some random motherfucker he's never heard of Shout out to Warren, Jeff, and the FLDS. Whatever that means. And then trick the message into being like, Oh, my friend's doing this and this and this. Could you wish him good luck? Blah, blah, blah. Fuck off. In fact, that makes my trolls the sickos because you're paying money for somebody to shout out a sicko. Knowing that that person's autistic and he hates sickos. That makes my YouTube trolls the biggest sickos on the planet.
No, I'm I'm am obsessed with hating sickos and being a good person, what have you, and fucking these trolls are fucking morons. And if Cobra didn't rule your sad life, you wouldn't try this hard to fuck with him. It's a fact. Shout out to Warren, Jeff, and the FLDS. Whatever that means. And just because I say these things doesn't make me anything. It's just my trolls are fucking stupid and the joke's on them, dude. You had your laugh for about five seconds, but I took your money and ran with it, dude. How is that trolling somebody? People will go out of their fucking way to bully me for anything. And honestly, it's disgusting. It really is. What the fuck is up, YouTube? It's your boy Cobra back at it with another drink combo. We're gonna start off with some Monster Ultra Paradise. It's got a Cobra on the handle, I dig that. Then we're gonna add some Monster Juice Mucha Mango. Mango Loco. Then we're gonna add some uh, Monster Ultra Peach. That's like three cans of Monster in that cup. But you know, let's have a sniff. That smells tropical. You know what we're gonna add to that next? Some Rum Haven Coconut Rum. Spank it to wake the demons. And we're gonna have to add this to the top of our combo. Splash it in there. That is a crazy looking drink combo, folks. Would you look at that? That smells tropically delicious. Yes, folks, we are doing a drink combo out of this beautiful goblet courtesy of Alex Vickner. He even included a drinking straw with it. So let me just uh, grab that real quick. This is a drinking straw he made out of glass. This is not for dabbing. This is for drinking out of drinks. Kind of stir it around a little bit. Get this Cobra drinking straw. Yeah, that drink combo is fire, son. Look at that. Fuck sickos. Fuck the YouTube trolls. I want to drink it down to a certain point. And then we're going to top it off with some more of that rum. That is most definitely what the fuck is up. Then we'll get my uh, Friday, Saturday started. I said you hit up whew, all these asshole YouTube trolls who are trying to pay me to shout out sickos. Shout out to Warren, Jeff, and the FLDS. Whatever that means. That makes them the sicko, dude. Like, so I, I know we're gonna bully an autistic person for hating sickos because we're losers. Absolute losers. Now we're cooking with fire, folks. Booyakasha. 
We're gonna be sipping on this throughout the day. Ah, that's mixed just right. What is up, fellow YouTubers? So, I did an order from Little Squeezers. But I ordered two cups of garlic butter to go with it, and I did not receive said two cups of garlic butter so i did a refund for the missing garlic butter cups that'll show up in my account in the next couple of days it is what it is <sighs> nothing you can do about it youtube the restaurant could have been out of garlic butter or they just simply ignored my request and it's like if you're out Fucking put a note or something and be, let, let the dasher know, hey, we're out of the dipping sauce. You know, communication. You have one job. It's not that difficult. From Little Caesars. Look at that. There's four of them right there. These things right here, the Little Caesars Puffs deal. And I miss my lizard terribly. This is just a coincidence on the name but let's try some and I ordered two garlic cups to go with it so I could smear it all over the top of these little pizza puff things and try it for you cool cobras because I wanted to take the, the two cups of garlic butter and just smear it all over the top of these uh, crazy puffs deal but that's not going to happen and then for the side we got the uh, like I said crazy cheesy Italian bread right there look at that fresh order of that but it's like you have one job dude and if you're out of the uh, garlic butter how hard is it to let the door dasher know hey you know what we're out of said product so could you let the customer who ordered this know that we don't have it like a note or something you know what i'm saying i ordered two cups of the little Caes little caesar's garlic butter to smear on top of the crazy puffs and it was not included in my order so i filed a complaint with doordash DoorDash is like, we're sorry about that. Do you want a refund for the two garlic cups? And I'm like, yes, I would, please. DoorDash did give me a refund. Like I said, I ordered two cups of garlic butter to go with my order so I could smear the garlic butter all over those crazy puff deals. But it is what it is. You're on Struggle Street and you want pizza or something pizza-like. So you hit up little squeezers because you got to squeeze that money and make it count. You know what I'm saying? Now, if the restaurant in question that I ordered this from was out of the dipping sauce, then include a note or something that says, hey, sorry, we didn't, we're not able to completely complete your order. We're out of the sauce. You know, if your store doesn't have any more of the garlic dipping sauce and you're out, and you let me know ahead of time before I open it and get disappointed. You know, you know what I'm saying? Communication. Communication is key. Okay, if you have customers that are going to your restaurants, communication is key, you two. And uh, I'm here for it. So even though I'm kind of ticked off, it didn't give me the garlic butter that I ordered. You know, overall, the food that I did order and that I did get, I'm here for it. It's delicious. Overall, even though I didn't get the uh, garlic dipping cups, that I, again, I asked for two cups of garlic dipping butter 
so I could smear it all over the top of these crazy puffs and eat it but they did not include those in the order either they did it or the dasher didn't give it to me one of the two I don't know all I know is I ordered some Italian bread and an order of crazy puffs and then two cups of garlic butter for dipping or smearing whatever didn't get the garlic butter it is what it is DoorDash gave me a refund for the two cups of garlic butter so can't complain on that but these crazy puffs from Little Caesars okay are getting the Cobra seal of approval they are delicious so these crazy puffs are getting the Cobra seal of approval even though I didn't get the uh, garlic butter that I ordered with my order it's all good because DoorDash refunded me the money for those two cups of garlic sauce so I can't complain people are like what happened to your finger Cobra I cut my middle finger trying to open up a bottle of this stuff right here it is what it is okay the, even though I didn't get the garlic butter I ordered with my order because like I said I ordered the crazy puffs some Italian cheese bread and then two cups of garlic butter did not get the two cups of garlic butter but I digress I still got everything else and uh, you know DoorDash gave me a refund for the two cups of garlic butter that I ordered and did not get so I appreciate that DoorDash thank you and uh, I'm here for it like I said it's it's not bad you know it's tasty and no they did not do anything with my lizard to make this I know some dickhead youtuber troll is gonna be like oh my god uh. <laughs> It's just a coincidence that they happen to have the same name. I'm a little ticked off that I didn't get the garlic butter I ordered with it, but DoorDash made it right, so it's like, I'm over it already, you know? Like I said, my, my only complaint about this order is I didn't get the garlic cups that I, the two garlic cups that I ordered. Outside of that, like, the food's delicious. I would recommend the Crazy Puffs from Little Caesars. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Tubes. We're about to do a drink combo. In this glass. First, we're gonna need some Midori. A little bit of Jameson Irish whiskey. And some Monster Energy Drink Green Original. Call this drink combo Leprechaun Crack. My door is being difficult to open. If you never tried uh, Midori, it's basically a, le a melon liqueur. Almost a lemon black. But no, it's it's a melon liqueur. And 
know, this drink combo is for 21 and up. Should mention that. Man, that lid do not want to come off. Have to put it between the vice clamp to get it open. Squeeze the lid there, but not too tight because you don't want it to break. Luckily, the monster is easier to open up. As uh, before, we had the monster, we had a shot of Jameson. Cheers, Divosia. I'll leave us just a little bit of room at the top for a splash of monster green energy.